Hey, 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 Fox Den Hunts here, and welcome back to more Endless Base 2. We also have Ribbon. Ribbon. Wow, I was thinking of something. Raven is here. Ooh, yes, she is. She's sitting at the desk, being a little cutie patootie. Hi, girl. You want to say hello to everyone? She just sat down. <laughs> uh, welcome back, guys, to Endless Space 2. We are playing the Loomerous. This is our first time in an endless difficulty. Hidel's about to get... Oh, she really didn't like me talking. Uh, Hidel is going to get the Intergalactic Supermarket up very in three turns. Sit Cetus will get the Atoll going. Essa is getting the Xeno Industrial. And we have Fidus that's going as well. With the Amosa, we definitely are trying to do a quest where we need to get 15 buildings built in 10 turns, I believe. Let's go here. No. That's where I checked one and expected Entropy. We need one of our systems to have 150 dust per turn. We're getting close to that. Patient Zero, here we go. 13 turns, build 12 buildings. Hedel, you should be at war. You're 95. This will give us an extra 25 and then 3 per person. And then Xeno Xeno Tourism, which won't give us anything but just one dust per person. But that's fine. That it will give us 10 dust. And Zubin's at 10. Oh, that's sexy. And you're going to get Xeno Tourism, which will be very beneficial for these two. All right, so let's end our turn. And get going. All right. Solo quest completed in less than 20 turns. Possess two ships with 65 combat. Very nice. We got attacked by pirates. Ah. Okay. A little retreat. We did lose our ship. That's okay. Uh, Raven's leaving to go do something. Who knows what? Get another population at Hadel. All right, see this has its next planet up, which is really strong because it does give us the luxury resources we need. That red saying, so we can get the next system up with our luxury resources next turn. Yay! And with our money, we could colonize the next planet, but I we kind of we don't really need that just yet. See this two and see this one. Those are the more important planets we can get to. So we're going to get quickly a lot of population there. You got two pop. Saying a lot more food. She was saying a lot of food. And we're making a lot of food too. 166 per turn. And we're sending about 119 out. So we are making, what, 266? So basically a pop a turn now. Which is good. And truly, I would love... Oh, we're still boosting Lumerous. Which is funny. We're boosting, yet the Lumerous are... Oh, they have five. Never mind. I think they have a little bit more than that. Less than that, excuse me. Everyone else is doing okay. Once Zubin gets the Xeno Tourism for all that extra money, we'll go back to building ships and getting our fleets up and going. We have seven ships in our fleet now. With seven ships in our fleet, I have two Brit. I have one, two, three, four. I have four ships. We can build two more. So I'll get another junk and two more bricks. That should give us a good seven fleet. And with Xenology, we will be able to get the cat well, get more heroes going. Empire development. More movement. That's good. Okay, Loomis has a new collection bonus. Population boost has ended. That's okay. We tight. Oh, wait, they don't need us? What? 
Really? Oh, that is annoying. Let's try and get them back under our control. Oh, Woden. Okay, once with the Hedel, I'm going to get the embassy up. Excuse me. There you go. I'm not going to do the Xeno Tourism. I will do Impervious Bunkers. So what the Academy does is unlo enables unlock of new heroes. We only have one. Heroes are very, very, very strong. We definitely want to get more heroes, both as governors and admirals. I know we have more laws. Oh, make choices. So we can get two Remen on Essa in 10 turns. Increase the ecologist. 20% negative consequences. Or we refuse. This is actually kind of new. Though they appear cold and distant, these castaways have sufficient humanity to beg for your help. Oh, um, happiness is nice, but I kind of want the extra population. Oh. Raven brought a toy into office and skid the little dates out of me. Yeah, we got this. Actually, we have 150 dust. We get the black tax authority. Plus 30% extra dust on the home system. Now we have in the next solo quest. I am filtering the reports. And the reports are good. Our sales were up. The meals clean and affiliates were happy with business. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raven keeps Grab my arm. Uh, and all the regulatory inspectors were three jumps behind when it came to keeping up. Still, Arden looked like somebody had suggested this cod. Ooh. Nobody gets it. This is just some old stuff. Old chum and new packaging. That's not the big opportunity. You know what it is? He opened his mouth. Dust, sure. But right now it's good as currency standard and I don't want to get crazy about it. When opportunity comes, we'll move. But I'm not going to kill the sweet deals we have going for something risky. So that my car is bad blood. He was fuming, pacing just as a fish who wanted to swim with the sharks before his teeth were even formed. Right now, we have two things going. The Mios and the Lancilium are allied to grow the trade routes, capturing resources, and expanding our markets. The Omicar and Araiko are going full exploitation, full exploitation, real estate, commercial, buildings, entertainment, blah, blah, blah. He leaned in. He didn't like the word either. See, the politicos and paper pushers are screaming for attention. New laws, blah, blah, blah. I gave him a list of names, addresses, vulnerabilities, secrets, and lobbyists. And told him to get to work. All right, so industrial friendly. Industrials has been one of your leading political parties. Action production on aesthetic or trade friendly. Um... These are both just laws. Production's always, you know, production will be better, so let's get that. Someone's found the academy. Location has been achieved. Proto Orchid has been found. Got uh, Lumis and Ganast. We got here level up. I definitely want to get more influence going in our system. Yep, and Hadel is should be making a lot of money. 191 now. Woo wee. Alright. Oh, yeah, uh, that's just straight up 30% extra dust. Yes, please. Oh my god, we're making 545 dust a turn. 
That? What is the happiness at? We are devoted. Uh, we need 66 extra influence a turn. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be the case. You know what? Oh, wow, that's really pricey. That's okay. That's okay. As I did get the remnant, so plus two dust on happy. Well, that's good, and one production. And we'll try and get the next planet up. In fact, I'll move it like this. And our turn, more production there. See, this is gonna get a little, yeah. See, this is gonna get like sixty production per. Yay! New event. A lot of extra happiness. Zubin, yep. I mean, see, this is gonna be yeah. That's that's good. Now with that sixty. The 30-30. If we get this, that'll be an extra 60 production. That means all this stuff will go even quicker. Yeah, even more production. Good lord. That's gonna be sexy. Adele, yeah, that's gonna jump up our dust. This is fine. So we're getting close to turn 50, which is where you really want to start getting some very serious military fleets up. Got more population, more building. Your production should be, wow, 269 dust a turn. That is amazingly good. So let me rush this. I also want the lava. Oh, we're gonna get a lava planet next turn. That's awesome for Hidel. So we definitely want this planet. Cause look at this, yeah. I mean, this is not bad, but this is 16 extra production we can get Quite a few people yeah we want that we want that planet going as soon as possible in fact we also want this going too it's gonna take a little bit but with all that hot and sterile whew, this is this is gonna be our massive production system And I'm very happy about it. Oh, Yissel has antimatter. Okay, we're gonna need to rush Yissel. So we get our pirate, our fleet up. Like, yeah, I am actually. Zoom in one. I'm very thinking about rushing this. So once I get these going, we'll get the AI labor. Three turns. Yeah, I that I do want that production. So that's 16 production, get us three up. Yeah.
get you in two turns so we can get that 30 extra production then that's gonna be a big boost to science as well how are you going by the way you have 20 turns okay now you get 11 we'll see if I want my fleet so I can get the antimatter we want Isil Okay, we have Zubin. I just move you to the hot. Move you here. There we go. Yep. So getting quite a few people of a turn. But this is now what? Basically two turns each. Yeah. See, this is 10 production per this, so that's an extra 30, 40, 50 production coming down here. Yeah, that's, oof. That's a fully grilled, wow. I kind of don't need that just yet. Next turn, we definitely want the lava planet up very soon. Oh, hello, Orcalox is on this planet. That's the fourth level of strategic resources. That's interesting. Okay, we definitely want the industrialist party, so let's get this going. Your offensiveness drive. All right, you know what? These guys are kind of annoying me, but we definitely want to make you them happier. The most perfect. So I'm going to force a piece on him. You try to make Horatio. Your offensiveness drives Horatio to anger. Again, lesser mortals would tell you get lost. But I am no lesser being. Let's give you 20 super spuds. You try to make Horatio's opinion of yeah? Why are you knocking around? Just giving you some luxury. Just give them trade. Gosh, we are so surprised that you're. Give them a little bit of goods means they'll start liking you a bit. Yeah, see this? Yeah, your production is really high. Wow, interesting how everyone just moved over here. That's a lot of food. That's really nice. Everyone here is ecstatic. Look at this good science. This is useless. Yes, I want the bunkers. Ooh, Altair has the Quadalus. Offensiveness drives her ratio to anger and dis. Okay, this now is gonna be interesting. All right, so these guys give you extra food on sterile, which is fine. We have static, and now we have six, 66 production coming from this planet. That's nice. That is nice. Oh, what I also want to get is the Denok University. That's two turns. This gives us 
five, extra fids. And then the zoom in with how big our plants are, that's gonna be a lot of fids. Hey. Hey. Oh, Raven's eyes are so big and beautiful. Your offensiveness drives Horatio to. Let's see, where's Horatio's strength? He's at 426, we have 402. That's not too bad. I'm gonna have a max fleet here, so I'm not sure if they really want to go to war with us like that. Uh, 30 extra production won't really help with this at all. Essa growing, good, good, good. Everyone else is fine. Okay, now with our full fleet, we can go after Yasil now. And that I'm very happy about. We can also do the Denmark University. After this, we will go to Denmark University, which, as I said, gives you 10 happiness, which are fine here, but five influence which will help but also two fits of everything and with 15 population hello that's 30 everything and still more population will be growing here and our fleet will go over here Definitely want to get this going. But I think I'm going to want to focus on some military techs. Let's get the upgraded ships. So with these are the next level ships, the hunter. The medium ones, they're very strong. And now we can go here. And there. And then we can go over here. But definitely focus on some military buildup. Make you ecstatic and still happy. It could help with growth, but I kind of want to leave that right now. Actually, what I really want to do is boost our gold production. So right now we're at the Loomis, which gives us extra dust wherever the Loomis population is. Are we going to boost that? That's going to give us, yes, yeah, so much dust turn. So this will be our last turn of the night. Season colonies and oh, well that's nice. We'll go this, the standard. Actually, I want to just buy this out. And we can buy this out, and that'll give us 30, uh, 20 production here. Which is not bad. And we'll get all the food, so you'll just keep growing. Now, we can get a lot of influence with these projects, which we should start looking into really soon. 
Let's see. Extra science? Yes. Alright, now with the Academy unlocked. 25% chance to get a random hero. You need points, we get 10 points a turn. I'm not actually sure where those points come from. I'm legitimately not sure exactly where those points come from. Oh, here we go. Huh. New population empire, 16 points. Star system improvement built, 16 points. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Move you over. Okay, we want to get Issel. I'm going to go impervious bunkers for more manpower on defense on a system, AI labor, and to using intergalactic technology. This will give us 30 actual production. Which? I mean. All right, it might not be the best. So 14 turns. And for this, yep, all right. So that's good. So we'll end it here for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget if you are, smash that like and that subscribe. If you wanna look at the victory conditions for score, we are fifth place. Ah, supremacy number one. Though, that's because you need to own everyone's home system. Science economy, we're fifth. Interesting. It's how much dust you're making. And we make quite a bit. But that's still going to go up too. So you know what? We shall see. Especially when we get this. Plus two dust per person. Very important. That's actually a lot of science. I kind of want to do that because that's just a lot of base science. Two per, two per person? Like seriously? Four? Yeah, that's an extra 30. God, that's basically doubling this planet's science output. Alright, thanks for guys watching. Till next time, peace alligator.